Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm headed to the Illinois River, the upper section uh, in the northeast part of Oklahoma. I'm, I'm going solo. Um, Ash and River, they couldn't join me this weekend. Um, but uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to fly solo. I've got my kayak, my fly rods, and uh, I'm going to spend a couple days up on the upper Illinois uh, fishing for smallmouth um, and whatever else bites. So, all right, so, well, I'm going to head out. I got camp unloaded and got everything set up. I'm gonna head down to the river and head down the river and just go explore a little bit. All right, I'm back at camp. I did a little exploring. Um, just gathered some information on the river here and uh, flew my drone a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just drove around, kind of checked out some spots that I uh, hadn't been to in many, many, many years. But um, and, uh, now I'm cooking up some, uh, some elk back straps. It took me a while, but I'm finally on the water, and it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Drop off here if I can get it deep enough. Oh, fish on, baby. Fish on. I knew there'd be one right here. Mm. 
First fish of the day. It was a beautiful morning, a great morning to float. Um, it's been so long since I fished this river. Uh, I've, it's, it's been a tough morning fishing wise. <clears throat> but it's about 11 o'clock. I'm eating a bite right now and uh, gonna rest for just a bit, relax, and um, get back on the water and change up some flies and try to figure these things out. But uh, I'm, I'm not doing, doing, doing so good right now, but uh, Hey, it's it's a beautiful day anyways. It's just a great day to 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 be on the river. So He's a big one. Oh, and he caught a fish too. He's a monster. He's a monster. There's got to be a fish right there. Small one. Oh, these are some monsters. Monsters. All right, we're going to go. Uh, we're gonna go kind of a nymph style. I've been approaching this wrong. I've got tons of weight on this dude. And uh, this looks like a pretty good little pull here. It's ticking on bottom now. That's my problem, I just didn't have enough weight. Why do I always resist the urge to put <clears throat> on a lot of weight when I'm fly fishing? Does anybody else do that? It's like when my grandpa gave me his fly rod for the first, <clears throat> my very first fly rod, we were up on the North Platte River. And uh, he said, I'm going to give you some most important advice that you'll ever need when you're fly fishing. He said, get it on bottom. And I thought, okay, you know, whatever. And to this day, whenever I'm not catching fish, it's because I'm not on bottom. Because most of the fish, most of the time are on bottom. So I don't know.
12 miles from where I'm supposed to take out. So we'll see what happens. Well, I just got off the river and uh, my plan didn't work out. Um, it would have been another nine, nine miles to uh, keep going. And uh, I think it would have been about midnight by the time I would have got back. So I had to borrow a guy's phone <clears throat> at a public access. I had to make the decision, do I want to stop? Stop fishing where I was at, um, borrow a dude's phone and um, catch a ride with Matt. Or do I want to just go and see what time I may get back? And <clears throat> I made the call uh, to Matt. Said, "Hey man, uh, I'm at, at uh, No Head Hollow. Should, you want to come get me, or do you want me to keep going?" He said, "I probably ought to come get you because uh, it's another nine, ten miles." So he came and got me. It's about five o'clock. Um, so I fished from seven to five. <clears throat> Didn't catch a lot of fish. Uh, um, I spent a lot of time kayaking, uh, I spent a lot of time rowing, um, a lot of time floating, but n not a lot of time fishing, but I I'm going to cook up some elk steak and uh, enjoy the evening.